Hi, Team SISD. I am Jose Espinosa, the proud superintendent of the Socorro Independent School District. I hope all of you are enjoying a great, safe, and healthy summer break. First, I'd like to recognize and thank all of our teachers and staff who did an amazing job with our virtual summer school program. Their energy and enthusiasm will never cease to amaze me, especially during these challenging times. During school closures across the country, many people commented on how they now understand how challenging a teacher's job is. The truth is that the role of our teachers, essential worker staff, and leaders will be even more challenging as we move forward during the current pandemic. I am asking our community to continue to be patient with our district as we work feverishly to address all of our students, employees, and community's needs. We have been working tirelessly to finalize our plans for the upcoming school year in order to give our families and employees answers to the many questions that they understandably have. In spite of not receiving all the information we had anticipated from the Texas Education Agency, as well as government officials, I am proud that we already have a preliminary plan in place for the 2020-2021 school year, which was developed based on multiple data sources, including the parent staff surveys, community focus groups, and guidance thus far from national, state, and local authorities. Our goal is to provide our community with as much information as possible as we move forward with our next phase of planning. Let's start with the most pressing questions that I know many of you have. Will schools open for in-person instruction in the fall? Governor Abbott has executed a plan to reopen Texas, and that includes public schools. Therefore, our job is to abide by the governor's orders and open our schools in a safe and strategic manner to provide our students with a quality education. Will parents have a choice? on whether to have in-school instruction or remote learning. Absolutely. From the beginning, we have stated that our parents will have a choice on whether to have their child continue to learn from home or send their child back to school for in-person instruction. What were the results of the initial parent and employee surveys? During our first phase of planning, we wanted to hear from our families and employees via our district surveys and focus group sessions. I would like to thank the thousands of parents and employees who provided us with valuable feedback. Over 10,500 parents responded to the 2020-2021 school year survey. To start the school year, 49% of parents stated they prefer at-home learning, 29% prefer a traditional model, and 22% selected a hybrid model. More than 2,000 employees participated in the 2020-2021 school year survey. For the return to school, 45% of employees stated they prefer at-home learning, 29% prefer a hybrid model, and 26% selected a traditional model. How will the school schedule classes for my child? Our next phase of planning includes the parent 2020-2021 scheduling survey. The survey will be available to parents via email as well as on the student portal on July 2nd through July 9th. We are asking all parents to please complete the short questionnaire in which they select the learning model of their choice for each child in their household. Campus administration will then use the information to create schedules for each student. What learning models can I choose from? For the traditional learning model, space permitting, due to social distancing guidelines, students would return to our campuses to receive in-person instruction. The hybrid learning model also would be space permitting due to social distancing guidelines. In this model, students return to SISD campuses to receive in-person instruction during morning or afternoon sessions for pre-K through second grade students and alternating day schedules for 
third through 12th grade students. When students are not on campus, they will be participating in synchronous or asynchronous online lessons at home. Synchronous learning means the students are learning together as a class being taught virtually by a teacher, while asynchronous learning is a student completing tasks provided by a teacher through Nearpod, for example. In the at-home learning model, students will follow a more rigorous remote learning program than they did in the spring. In the new school year, teachers will provide synchronous or asynchronous online instruction and interact with students via several online platforms to closely track their attendance, participation, progress, and work. Specifics for each learning model are being determined by our Socorro ISD New Normal Task Force that includes teachers, parents, campus, and district leaders, as well as employee association representatives. More details on the learning models will be provided as plans are finalized. When will the school year start? Our 2020-2021 school year calendar has been revised to have students begin instruction on July 27th. Our new calendar includes additional flexibility that will allow us to close the district or particular schools due to potential positive COVID-19 cases or another widespread outbreak as necessary. You can view our new calendar and 2020-2021 school year information on our district website www.sisd.net backslash back to school. What will the start of the year look like? We are currently in the middle of a pandemic. Understandably, many of our parents, employees, and students are nervous about coming back to school. After receiving feedback from our community, our leadership team made the proactive decision to begin the school year with three weeks of at-home learning. Like I previously mentioned, our new at-home learning program will include rigorous synchronous or asynchronous online instruction in which teachers actively interact with students to track their attendance, participation, progress, and work. I cannot stress how important it is to provide our teachers and employees with adequate time and space to learn to teach and work under the new normal circumstances that includes many strenuous safety guidelines that we must follow in order to ensure the physical and emotional well-being of our students and staff. Their safety and health is our number one priority. After the first three weeks of school, we plan to honor our parents' choice of either continuing with the at-home learning model or transition safely to a traditional or hybrid model as per space availability at our campuses. Will working parents or SISD employees be accommodated during the first three weeks of remote learning with childcare? We are in this together. We love our teachers, employees, students, and community, and we will do our best to work together to find solutions for our families. During these challenging times, we are leading with our hearts, which means that we will work hard to take care of everyone in Team SISD. Our district and campus staff will be collaborating to develop plans and partnerships to accommodate our families and employees with unique circumstances. What safety guidelines will be put in place for students and staff returning to school? TEA has not finalized the specific guidelines for districts to reopen our schools. However, our district plans to follow the safety guidelines recommended by health experts, not only locally, but also across the globe. Health experts have emphasized that the best way to prevent the spread of the virus is by doing three specific things. Wear a face covering, stay at least six feet apart from each other, and consistently wash or sanitize your hands. That's exactly what we plan to do at Socorro ISD, along with other CDC guidelines to keep our students and staff safe. We will be requiring that anyone who enters our campuses wear a face mask and participate in a daily temperature and wellness check. Our district has ordered personal protective equipment for our students and staff, including face masks and hand sanitizers. 
We have purchased a lot of equipment and supplies for our maintenance department so they can effectively sanitize frequently touched areas in our schools. Students will be provided with mask breaks when they are working quietly and independently. What if our family still doesn't have one electronic device for each child? While our district has already provided a laptop for the vast majority of families in need, we are continuing to work as fast as we can to obtain additional devices with the goal of providing all students with an electronic device. Currently, we are dealing with the COVID-19 caused delays in receiving new devices. So we ask for your continued patience and support as we work through this and the multitude of issues we have before us in preparing to safely and successfully launch the 2020-2021 school year. We are working hard to accommodate all of our families who may have technology-based issues. Will employees and students be safe at school? We will all have to do our part in following social distancing guidelines, wearing our mask, and washing our hands frequently. By working together, we can open our schools safely and successfully in the fall. I urge all of our stakeholders to continue to check our website FAQ section, as well as our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts frequently for updates and answers to additional questions you may have. Rest assured that we will update you as we get further information from the state and as plans for the school year are finalized. As soon as we get results for our parent 2020-2021 scheduling survey, we will inform our community accordingly. It is very important we all remember that with all COVID-19 plans, details may be subject to change pending the state of our local community health and new guidance issued by national, state, and local authorities as we approach the first day of school. We still have a lot of work to do, but our relentless work ethic, sense of urgency, and commitment to work with our community as a team will continue to ensure our student success. Thank you again for exhibiting our Team SISD spirit of love and unity and for being patient, understanding, cooperative, and flexible as we navigate another challenging school year. I look forward to being back together with our outstanding students and staff, hopefully in the near future. Stay safe and healthy. God bless all of our families.